My name is Steve. Welcome to my shop. Well, it's been a full week since I got back from the bash. And it's given me some time to reflect on it, to go over the little bit of video that I took. Um, I took my camera and I expected that I was going to shoot a lot of video. But it soon became apparent that I didn't want to watch the whole thing and experience the whole thing through the lens of my camera. So I have a few, uh, few short clips that I'm going to spread out during this video of some of the different areas of interest. But in the meantime, I just want to kind of give you what my experience was at the bash. I arrived on uh, Thursday evening. I took off from Newark Airport Thursday morning and I arrived Thursday evening at my hotel. So I got up early Friday morning and headed over to Stan's. Uh, it was my intention to, to help set up, which I did. Um, I had offered to help out in the swap meet area I was going to be assisting James Green, but since he was not able to go because of health reasons, uh, I kind of ended up in the swap meet area. Not that it needed a whole lot of attention, but that's kind of where I spent most of my spare time. Jim King. Jim King, come on down. All right, next item up is Noga. We've got Noga shirt. And... We each received a name tag with the lanyard. What happens at the bash stays at the bash. And one of my viewers, actually it was a gentleman, won a brass hammer last year I had when I reached 200 subscribers I had a brass hammer giveaway and the winner of that brass hammer was Dan Metzger who had, well he has since moved back down to the lower 48 he's actually out in Maryland now and he put together uh, special customized name tags for the YouTube sponsor creators and this is the one that he put together. It's actually got some of my channel art on it. And I really appreciate it. And I, he, he came to the bash and I got to meet him. So that was, that was great. So one of the things that the activities that was going on on Friday was a grinding class. And Steve Barton from Solid Rock Machine Shop put on a grinding class that took about two hours. Um, I'll leave a link uh, in the description to video for that grinding class, actually to his channel, because his son Adam uh, shot the whole thing. I also took two hours of video of, of it, but unfortunately where I had my camera mounted it ended up getting the backs of a lot of people's heads and so on uh, the audio is all there and I mean it's good reference for me but it's not real good video for uh, for showing okay. I'm Steve Lang, I'm a retired automotive machinist so all of my grinding is limited to crankshaft grinding and cylinder head blocks and so on so Big stuff. Yeah. So this precision grinding is kind of a new venture okay. for me. Yeah, and I know I've been corresponding yeah. with you a little bit. So. Yeah. Now I heard the tires. Yeah. Friday after the grinding class, we had lunch, and I spent the rest of the afternoon uh, helping out, getting set up, and meeting some of the other YouTube creators that I've been following for some time. Randy Richard showed up and he was wearing one of my Shark River machine hats and I thought that that was just great. Last Christmas we had a Secret Santa 
and he was the recipient of my my gift and I sent him one of my signature brass hammers and a sharper machine hat and he had just come back from a fishing trip and that was his fishing hat for the fishing trip and he said it brought him a lot of good luck so I had a good time one of the big draws one of the big events for the day on Saturday is the raffle and I bought raffle tickets but I'll be the first one to tell you that I didn't win a thing in the raffle. There he is, buddy. The so, the out. question again. <laughs> Spinny wheel? Just okay, you have to go home. You're not listening to me. You're hurting my feelings. You know, I'm, I'm sensitive. Okay. We can go for the abrasive and the black book. Yeah, yeah. So you could make two right Go for the spin. Let's walk up there and give it a chance. You might have to push out Mr. Bollinger on the way there. Jim, the wheel's right behind you. Could have cut you in half like a chainsaw. Okay. Because what are you looking for? Anything particular? There's a lot of good stuff. I agree. Drill hog, except you have to spin again. We're out of drill hog. We we we're going to wipe it off. However, I do have a few things that I brought home. Everybody that attended got one of Keith Fenner's uh, special issue T-slot cleaners. Very nice job. Thank you, Keith. And I ended up bringing home two of them, which was great. We also had a box full of uh, brushes, like chip brushes, and these are great for also for T-slot cleaning. And these were actually provided, I believe, by uh, Bruce Witham, Gemtech. And uh, they have the Bruce, Bruce Witham logo on them on one side and the Bar Z brand on the other side. So I got a few of them. Also, in the, some of the giveaways, one of our big sponsors was uh, Empire Abrasives. And I got some cutoff discs from Empire Abrasives. So I've got enough cutoff discs for a while. And one of the other things that I did on, on Saturday, I took a break from the tables and the swap meet and I sat in on uh, Jim Bollinger's uh, Do Right Fab in his TIG welding class. The folks that were in here were TIG welders. Um, how many of you guys use gas? Is about half hour? Does anybody use flux core? Flux core, two flux core. Okay, yeah, those of you that use gas, do most of you, does anybody use anything different than 75 to well, this gentleman says he's mixed with straight argon. You can try, and you can make. But if you put 25 percent CO2 in there, you'll notice what the world will be different. That's what the 75 75 percent argon, 25 percent CO2. It's a blended gas. That was what I was trying to get at. The time. It's a blended gas. And one of his sponsors is Osborne uh, Abrasives. And so I got an assortment of samples of some Osborne cutoff wheels, uh, some, some heavy grinding wheels, and some, some flap wheels from Osborne Abrasives. The only purchase that I made was from Steve Barton of Solid Rock Machine Shop and he made boring bars. This is the boring bar. I'll show a close-up of that. He had them laser etched and I purchased the, uh, the half inch boring bar. I have some smaller ones. I didn't think I really needed the 3 eighths. 
but it's a tool steel boring bar that's been uh, hardened and it comes with the tip and it's a real quality piece of equipment and one of the unique things about it is that he also put a pocket on the opposite end of the boring bar so if for some reason you end up crashing the bar and making the one end unusable you can turn it around and use the other end and to keep that safe and to keep from cutting yourself on it there's a, a cap to put over that when it's not in use so I had a real good time meeting Steve and his family his son Adam was there you say Adam did a lot of video during the, the day if you're following along on the other YouTube channels you, you'll probably see some of his video and his two daughters also came and they spent a good part of the day at the swap meet tent selling the uh, the boring bars Bruce Witham uh, also gave a demonstration on his he's famous for his getter out and I spent a little bit of time in the uh, getter out presentation across the board uh, I do what I'll show it as we go through uh, I do many, many different types of uh, machines, vehicles, uh, compressors, locomotive parts, uh, aerospace, oil and gas. I'm also a tool maker. I do a lot of tooling. I make special tooling for, uh, for people for fabricating, uh, engineering. Joe Pizinski was one of the guest presenters and uh, YouTube creator sponsors. If you haven't uh, watched Joe, you should really uh, check him out. I'll leave there again, I'll leave a, uh, a link to his channel. And he had one of the challenges. He did the uh, Joe Pie challenge and it was an accuracy XY travel race, if you will, through a matrix that he machined on the milling machine. And the video that I have is uh, Gary Cude of Tools for Machines on his effort to negotiate the, the maze that uh, Joe had machined. I'm sorry, I'm in your way. Okay. One of Bruce Witham's big projects has been the True Line 88 alignment unit, and it is a unit that's designed for the round column mills, uh, similar to the one that I use. I have an Enco round column mill. And the problem with the round column mill is as you raise and lower the head, the head will swing, so you lose your XY uh, orientation. 
and he made up a unit which I've got a video clip here that mounts to the head and keeps the uh, the head relatively true as you raise and lower it. Another one of the participants uh, on the creator sponsor side and also a uh, major tool sponsor was Jason from Fireball Tools and he had made a presentation of his uh, squares, the mini square, the mega square and he also supplied uh, several of them for the raffles. And I have a short video of, of him. Where did, where did I come from? What do I do? And I'm a right out of high school. I went to uh, Millwright School. And uh, inspired by my grandfather. He's a One of the highlights of my time there was uh, Emma's tool making contest. Last year, Emma started a tool making competition prize was a set of finished Z squares from Stan at Bar Z and she had a full set of them that were nicely polished and finished off and that was the grand prize last year and I participated in that competition I didn't win but I had a great time got a lot of new subscribers during that period of time and so this year when she announced that she was going to do it again I volunteered to help her out and so I was a guest judge I have a video of the presentation of the winners here to follow I had a great time great time meeting Emma spending some time with her getting to know her um, very interesting I, I had a great time and the interesting thing was when it came to the judging we we sat down on Friday evening to kinda of hash it out a little bit and we had both come up with the same two people and so it was just a matter of deciding who would be the winner versus who would be the runner-up and there again we were both on the same page so it ultimately it became an easy decision but we went through there were 24 different presentations they were all very good they were very entertaining and it really came down to the originality and the entertainment value of the uh, of the video this is the second year we've run a tool, I've run a tool, a tool making competition and this year the prize is a GoPro. Last year's winner sent a huge box of accessories for this. So if, if you win this, if you made a video and you get, you, we've got your name and you've won this, you've won a better camera, pretty much a better camera kit than anyone here at the Bash has got. So it's pretty awesome. Now there's been some amazing, totally amazing entries. We've had 24 really good entries. Everyone's pushed themselves. And the reason I started this competition was because there's a lot of videos out there a bit like watching paint dry. And really we need to lift that bar and Everyone who's entered this competition, 24 entries. Everyone's pushed themselves so much. Everyone's pushed themselves so much and it's been some awesome watching and we really enjoyed it. And I'm pretty happy to post this anywhere in the world and to post this too. So without any further ado, um, I think Stephen's got the winners. We need a runner-up, don't we? We have a runner-up. <clears throat> you 
son's got impeccable timing. Yes. <laughs> calling now. That's, that's great. Okay, last year I was a participant in Emma's tool making competition. And so this year when she decided to do it again, I volunteered to help her out because I know she had a, a tough time making a decision. So I was the uh, guest judge, if you will. And for the runner-up prize, which is the Randy Richard Carbide Scribe stainless steel with a hex handle, it is Acus making and lapping a bench block. There's an awesome video, so. it's a really good video. Uh, pushed yourself, pushed us, and made us made us think that some nice tool making is possible. So we really, really enjoyed the video, and congratulations. Okay, for the GoPro outfit, which includes the accessory package, which was donated by last year's winner of Shadow Dog 500. First place for Emma's Spare Room Machine Shop tool making competition is Adventures with a Very Small Lead, his screwdriver sharpener. And this was based on entertainment value and uh, participation in the infamous rule number two. So, Make sure you contact Emma with your uh, shipping address so that we can get these posted out to you. And go have a look at the playlist. It's on my channel. My, one of my playlists is competition, uh, 2018 tool making competition. They're all watchable. It was a pretty difficult field to choose from. They're all really watchable, but check out the winner. Check out the runner up. This. Watch it with your kids. The, the winner's video is fantastic. You've got to go and see it. Well, that pretty much wraps up my experience at the Bar Z. I came back to stands on Sunday morning after the bash and helped out folding chairs, folding tables, and getting ready to go. Um, was able to spend a little bit more time with Stan and some of the other creators and uh, he went over a few things in his shop. Uh, I talked to him about grinding, a little bit more specifics about grinding and some of the questions that came up at least in my mind during the presentation. So overall I had a wonderful time and I'm looking forward to the possibility of going back next year. I've set myself some goals, and if I attain those goals, I will seriously consider going back next year. June is a horrible busy month for me, between birthdays and anniversaries and so on, so it really depends on the date that it falls on as to whether I'll be available or not. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you at the next video.